Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to the Chronicles of Sissel, also known as Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everybody. We are now at the point of the game where I don't exactly remember what we do in each chapter. We're on chapter 12, 1225 AM. Just after midnight, how spooky. Let's start. Or, or it's like partying. <laughs> Depends. Partying till 2 a.m. Sure. It's New Year's. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Oh, dang. Objection. Mm -hmm. I told Lynn about what I had found out about the kidnapping. That it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they had sensed my presence and were already gone. But Camilla? Why would they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl. Kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much! It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists too. Like the kidnappers winding up and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be a coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister. It wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah! How can I believe in you? I'm a realist! Please! If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and- I tried calling a hundred times! My wife won't answer! She won't? It's complicated. Oh, why does my life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it! And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed! What difference does it make if it's not my daughter? Wooey! That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. <laughs> quite a pickle. <laughs> Miss me, baby. Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> Love that dance. Yeah. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. Whoa. That's a bow. <laughs> the escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Oh. Hey, yo. <laughs> Detective Jowd? And the British Royal Guard is accompanying Detective him. Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry, I tried... I know that you're innocent! I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry! Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It breeds a tear to my eye. Trick time! You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jow could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha! Oh, come on now, baby! I know no such thing. I know two things to be true and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. 
and two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, why- or right? Why didn't you just take him back to prison? I think you only brought him here to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons? So you, were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lin. But Detective Zhao! I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But- Oh, we don't get his fought bubble now. Oh well. No biggie. <laughs> You're no, not talking to the justice minister. He's gonna freak out again. According to what I heard, Amelie was supposed to go to some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers, they were lying in wait for her. But Amelie didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh? And so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake instead? Apparently. Amelie and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to go do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Oh right, you asked her to bring the music box. Camilla... Come on, talk to the Joseph Minister. Fine. My poor Amelie, is she alright? Actually, the girl who was kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is a dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute. Amelie? Could that be the Amelie next door? Yes, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the Justice Minister lived next door. N no not me. My wife. It's, uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it would be pretty hard to admit she left him. The Minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart w with him being so busy. Yeah, I bet you're right. PLEASE STOP GOSSIPING ABOUT ME INSIDE <laughs> MY OWN HEAD! <laughs> that was funny. I don't know what else to do, though. Uh, Everything. flap that flag. AMERICA! Oh, Even though it's not <laughs> that flag color. I don't color. know why we, <laughs> I keep singing that, but... Oh, it's Jowd! We can talk to him, remember? Yeah. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping. Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible! What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution. Tonight. <laughs> I had no idea I was so hated. But the Minister doesn't have to worry. I die, and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple! Why not? Because it isn't really the Minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla! W what Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. No! It can't be! And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him! I'm the one who shot her! I'm the one who shot Alma! And when I'm executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. I is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? Sweet. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. We came home from work and she went in first. Mom! Mom! What was that noise? I look 
looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla. Just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my. That's so horrible! It's even more horrible as I'm yawning throughout this because I'm. <laughs> oh, oh, that's too, oh, no, well, that's too that's bad. bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I do feel bad. I'm just tired. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to, made an impossible move. Oh! An impossible move? Maybe there was a ghost trick. And they were like, how much we killed mother? And then, like, he Ooh. was hanging out. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convinced everyone of, even me. But tonight you showed up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. The powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. Yeah. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of other people who know about these powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. I forgot it was her. I was like, yeah. wait, what am I saying? The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Chowd. There's still time before dawn. A little, anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of the gun. Right. That was an antique gun I'd had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't! It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday! And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. kind of adjustment. The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption, but one thing was for certain. The gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma? I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? Well, you mean... And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what's in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give the police my own pistol. And I did a few other things I to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. Okay. All that happened in the span of, like, less than a frame. Detective Jowd, is what you told us now just true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd. And of course little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake! That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? 
In Temzik Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Also, Inspector Kaminella's like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> Yes, what? sir! I'll go right now! Sissel, take care of Detective Zhao. And do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just go off and die without doing something. But you're in our custody. Don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. I see, my old friend, in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Oh my gosh, this guy's gonna die in front of us. Should the execution be carried out tonight, as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please, don't bow to me, down to me, and especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Or would you be so kind? Yes, sir! What Where did he get that? What was that? It's oh, it's a chair. chair. It looked like Shulk's weapon. <laughs> the Monado. Yeah. The van should take about ten minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate? The prison's not, like, super close. It's probably at least 30 minutes Trick away. Trick time. Yeah. I'm glad to see Detective Jowd all fired up now, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lin does come through with the proof of Jowd's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jowd or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about the kidnapping, somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here? Most likely, the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one! I'm sure of it! Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it? How? I doubt his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right? But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? <laughs> what I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost? Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change this situation. Okay. Gee, Detective. For the past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter. But is there a way? Yeah. There's absolutely- I have an idea. Oh, but first talk to him. Yes. Excuse me, Mr. Minister? I can't hear you! La 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 la! I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly. I don't trust you. But there's somebody else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah? Who's that? Me. I can't explain your existence. It's not normal, but I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination. A delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got the bit about you not trusting me, though. Good! Doo -doo -doo. Well, hanging around here won't change anything. I've got ten minutes before the prison van shows up. If I could just do something about the kidnapping in those ten minutes. 
I guess the telephone lines are my only hope. Look at this guy just sitting here. Poor Justice Minister. Oh, yes. You basically gave her the same voice as Beauty. Just so you know. With the Except, weird Russian accent. No! It was more the low, the low loveliness. Just as I thought. Still sick. This little girl is safe in her bed. <coughs> Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of the sad fate lit a fire in Jowd's heart, and the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight has related back to me in some way. And I'll bet this mistake-ridden abduction does too. That can't be the end of the chapter. That's the end of the chapter? We did nothing! We literally were just like... We Bleh. talked and learned a lot of stuff! We talked, but that was boring. That was yeah, we didn't boring. save anybody from dying. It's true. I want to do more. We can do more next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Also, I really like how this is the part where we just, like, all the little things are starting to hook up. Where it's like, oh, yeah. we randomly went to this lady's apartment just to escape. It turns out that lady's actually kind of important to solving the yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's, it's, it's really cool. And, like, how the weird guy who randomly called her is like, oh, he's the justice minister. He's a big part of this, too. This too. It, it, it's just, it all Everything fits connects. together so yeah. and well. And I figured it would connect. I just want the late the the chick from the chicken kitchen, like with the green memory. hair. I want yeah, memory. I want her to have more to do with this too. And just be like, oh my gosh. I'm the main bad guy. <laughs> no, that, that would be funny, but no. She's she's the weird blue head of like eyebrow guy, like, hey, yes, I'm here in this parlor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we haven't seen anything more from them. Yeah, because they're not answering the phones. Anyhow, look forward to next episode. We're actually going to do stuff until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.